Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vandiazzo, back in a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. So I hope you can enjoy, don't like, comment, subscribe, and let's go on to shall we? And lots of what I'm doing is we beat the Madali Gym and we evolved our newest team member. I've already forgotten her name. Oh, it was whatever the, yeah, Espada. I was trying to remember what it was, but uh, Espada, if it was a male, I would have called it Arthur, as in King Arthur. But yeah, so our squad, actually, M also learned a new move, which means M can technically evolve soon, because that new move, if I can remember how to check the summary for five seconds, was the, oh, there it is, uh, was this one, Rage Fist. And if I could click on Rage Fist, which uh, it won't let me, but basically, oh wait, no, I can just do this. Rage Fist, is the move that, uh, if you use it 20 times, uh, I'm already forgetting its name, uh, Monkey over here, I, I really actually did forget the name of the Pokemon. Primate, there we go. Primate, we're gonna head there by the way, if you can tell like there's a gym town, or maybe not up there specifically, but we're heading up the mountain. The point is, the um, if we use Rage Fist 20 times, Primate, or M, will evolve into, um, Actually, there we're heading. Never mind. But um, M will evolve into uh, Annihilate, which is an, which is the final evolution of Makey in this game. So we have to use it 20 times. So any like, I'm basically gonna keep M up first, and I could like run through this entire episode only spamming Rage Fist, and it would only take me like what 10 minutes to fully evolve M if I really wanted to go that way. Because I think M's ability, I think M will evolve the second I do that. Because, like, for example, Plummy and, um, wait, no, it's not Plummy that does this, but, like, one of the Pokemon that I know has a special evolution, like, you have to have a certain requirement for it. The second you meet that requirement, it auto-evolves. It doesn't matter if it, like, raises the level or not. So, I don't know if for M it goes for the same route or not, and, of course, it has to be something M can't hit with Rage Fist. I think it has to specifically hit. I don't think it can miss and then just not go off. So, we're just gonna keep running and hopefully stop running into things, because I need to pay attention, because I want to take on the gym today. And I made myself the promise that I am gonna still explore stuff, but if we don't make it to the gym by exactly 25 minutes and one second on my clock, and the reason why that's so specific is because typically when I look over, it's already a second pass, so I'm counting 25.01, but technically it's 25, but you get the point. Um, or if we're not at the gym town by that point, then I won't, like, take on the gym today, because it's not gonna... It will depend. Well, yeah, no, like, I'm not gonna take on the gym at that point, just because, like, it's too much, and I know you're half dragon type, and I know you're half flying type, so Rage Fist is going to hit. But, um, you know, like, all... Of, okay, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it was gonna do. But, like, you know, like, because I want to make sure I don't take up too much time on this one video. And if, if we get up there, I'll be happy, and then I'll just take on the gym this episode, and this episode might just go a little longer than expected, but it's fine, because, you know, we would have made it to the gym town. And, of course, I'll t regardless, I'll take the time to explore, but, like, that's why I'm being so specific, that if it's at 25.01, or technically 25 minutes, then in that case, I, um will explore and then be able to still do the gym. I'll just cut the exploring a little short. And did Rage Fist do more damage that time around? And that is annoying. But M's ability should trigger. No, it doesn't. What does this thing do? The more times you've usually been hit by attacks. Oh, so it gets stronger the more M just takes damage. Cool. I, you know what? That works. I thought it was just she gets more damage regardless. But um, as like the move uses, it's like, other, I forgot what move it is, like the move where you just keep using it and it gets stronger. Uh, I would keep M out against Go Go, but with being paralyzed and that low in health is not worth it. I also need to go buy items. I know where I can get better items, like I know where I can get the Miracle C, because I did it on accident in the, um, in my Violet playthrough, and the worst part is I even went to the place in this game when I was first exploring Naranja Academy, but I com but I did ignored it because I was too focused on trying to get my Rotom foam and spending money on clothes that I couldn't buy, and which I didn't eventually realize that I could actually change clothes whenever I wanted. That's been a fun editing process for me, by the way, constantly having to mention every time that I'm wrong with that. That is the sole reason why I've had to like hard edit my videos because like, everything else is fine outside of like the cropping and stuff like that. But like the reason why I have to head art it, edit and watch them is because I don't know or I don't remember when I said I can't buy clothes. I just remember it's there, Dreadnought. That's rock and ice, so Fang gets to come out. Honestly though, like, uh, actually in hindsight, I don't know if, know if we're prepared for the gym or not. Because I haven't looked at the levels of the gym leader, and I don't know how many Pokemon they have. The only thing I remember is 
I don't want to spoil it. Because I kind of, t I mean, like, regardless, I've told you where we're going. So you can kind of figure it out. And I've already put, like, the link in the description in the order that I'm doing these events in. So, like, you already know you, like, oh, I forgot I could just use Flower Trick. Flower Trick would have been an instant kill, but, like, f fair enough. Either way, um, like, where was I going at this point? Oh, yeah, like, you guys already know what the gym is that I'm going to. And if you don't, you can literally just check the description, check what the previous episode is. And then if the title doesn't tell you, or the thumbnail for that matter, the description and the previous video definitely will. I don't know how I'm going to get past you lot. Thank you for moving out the way. Um, where am I going? I actually forgot. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before I do anything else, auto heal M. Esparta I would auto heal, but Espadora can probably take on a few more hits before I have to heal her. Uh, that is a Persian. Cool. I saw Vigoroth in the corner of my eye earlier, and I just chose not- Yeah, yeah, there's another one. But I just chose to ignore it because I don't really care. Um, hey, we're gonna be heading back- If that's what I think it is, we're gonna be heading back there later, because, um, we are going to have to take on a Titan. We already saw that Titan, actually, and if it is that place, then, uh, great for us, and there's just a congregation of Pokemon by that place. Um, I'm not gonna take on every trainer as much as I do want M to get more battles in with Rage Fist. There's a high chance some of these might just be normal type users. So we'll skip every other- what was that? Oh, it's these things. I was I was questioning for a second what I saw. We'll skip every other trainer, especially because the gym is actually a place where Rage Fist would be useful in, so... Okay, I saw the word Steel type, so I'm just gonna assume he randomly has a Steelix on his team. I don't know why specifically a Steelix. Why are you talking about Steel types if you don't have Steel types, goddammit? You know, it's fine. Normally fighting would not be a good bet against us because Grass, I believe, resists fighting. However, I forgot you were paralyzed. I knew I was forgetting something. And I know I see that tower over there. I'm not gonna go to it because I don't care. Um, if you don't mind, hit me with a move that doesn't do too much- Okay, fuck you. Um, hit me with a move that doesn't do too much damage so M can keep Rage Fisting and evolve. Because, uh, again, it's 20 times. Apparently we've already used it 5 times before this match even started, which I actually don't remember if we did or not. So by all means, maybe we did and I just wasn't paying much attention, or maybe we didn't. Can you please hit me with a move and stop spamming heals? I beg of you, God. Okay. Do not get paralyzed at all, please, so I can just keep... Man, I knew it would happen the second I said it. Okay. The Rage Fist, please. I... This is getting annoying. Hit me with any move. We know that three of your moves don't do damage. Well, one of them does, but we don't... Two of them don't do actual damage. Thank you! Okay, M. Hit it with Rage Fist. Thank you. Do enough damage to bring it down to yellow. That is not what I wanted to see, but it did a good amount. As long as M can... Survive. Can M survive another magical leaf and then also a leech seed? I. And I now hate Leafeon because apparently this thing just spams the shit. My god. I hate stall Pokemon. No, I didn't mean to run. Oh, you can quit bat. That's an option? Well, that's great. I didn't know that was an option. Okay, I'll do that next time I get annoyed at a Pokemon. Well, no, but like, my god, I hate stall Pokemon so much. Because like, if you can't tell, I just like to have the battle mode. I don't like to think about moves. I just like to click A and go for it. But great god, anything that just stalls is so annoying because it drags the battle out so long. And this time I have an objective I'm trying to do, like I said, and we're already... Eight minutes, we're about to be nine minutes. Into, can you stop using synthesis, please? For five minutes, can you? I know it only has five PP, but like the fact it's used it three times is annoying. Please stop using it. I hate you. Why? I realize I could terrestrialize. I know terrestrializing is an option. I don't want to though, because I don't know where the nearest Pokemon Center is outside of the one we saw earlier. And I'm 95% sure that's not a direct link. Can you stop with that shit, please? But um, I know it's not a direct link to like the gym town, or at least I don't think it's in the gym town. Okay, it's dead the next hit, if it takes it. Okay, that's fine. As long as Ice Fang doesn't miss, because I'm 95% sure all Fang moves have a 95% accuracy. Thank God. I, I'm pretty sure I'm right about that, by the way. I think most of them have a 95% accuracy. I, Because I, I think the punches are 100%, and then the Fangs are 75, or not 75, 55. Uh, Ferrara Garab, you are half dark. So, or half psychic, or both. So I'm gonna just gonna pretend like I'm in the right and just 
throw out fate. I mean, worst case scenario, I can just use flower trick, but like, I'm pretty sure this is the evolved form of... What's his name? Geograph? That's not his name, but we all know what I'm talking about. The psychic normal type, and I'm pretty sure this is also a psychic type, based off that alone. Good job, Fang. He's gonna hit me with a crunch, that does jack shit, because I'm already half dark. Please die to this. Okay, thank god, that battle took three minutes, because that stupid Leafeon wouldn't just die. And this is why I hate- oh, I see a moon, that makes me feel a little bit better, honestly. Okay, M leveled up. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you for making my life so much harder by being an annoying douche. Okay, I could head to the tower that I saw about five seconds ago, but I don't feel like it. I'm going to heal M. Do I have any form of paralysis heals whatsoever? It probably would have used it if I had one. No, I... Why didn't it use that automatically? What the... You know, I don't even care, I don't even care. Let's just pretend like the game isn't competent. Okay, which way am I heading? That's my question. I haven't brought this map up in a while. Which way am I going? This place. I should have done this first. This is where we're going. Um, chap the Montanavera Gym Leader, Rhyme, aka the MC of RIP. The ghost, you, the ghost type user is among the greatest. She is a legendary rapper who has performed around the world and has her thrilling live shows Rattle the Bones with devilish beats and double battles. Okay, so basically a double battle. Cool. Okay, so it's this way. Oh, so the first place I said was the right one. Okay. Uh, can you climb yet? Well, that's a hint to what one of our powers is. Uh, like I said, we're skipping every other trainer. I really hope we make it there on time now, because that battle took so much longer. Back in the glossy auto mountain we go. Okay, yep, there's the Pokemon Center I thought about. Which means I just wasted items, but I'm going to walk over here anyways, because it's a teleport zone. So, we're going to pretend like I don't see any challenges, because I don't want to fight everything here. And, hey, hey, it's you. Um, I am lost, though. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Was that it? Is that a town? I think that's... No, that's a waterfall. And I almost ran into one question mark. I am so confused about where I am right now. Um, but that's just the norm. As I've learned through, like, the different games I've played over the last few days, any of them that involve a map, I... And that you can, like, have a free world roam in, I am very bad with directions, but I saw... And I know I've said this before, but I somehow come out strong... Fuck you. But I somehow come out stronger by getting lost. Like, straight up me- My camera glitched because why wouldn't it, but all you missed was me talking about how I enter really under-leveled under in a lot of areas, and... Oh, uh, I thought it switched out. Oh, it did switch out to the Witcher. Don't bring it back. Hey, I'm a primate, please. Don't bring back primate, please. I don't even know why I bother. I really don't sometimes. Ah, yes, the aerial ace that I knew was coming, which is why I switched into Killer Wittrell in the first place. I swear this game has it out for me sometimes, but if we just pretend like everything's going right, it is. The point is, I've gotten lost so many times in just the multiple games I've played of late, the point where I'm starting to think this is just a natural thing now, and that's just what makes me better. Or not better at the game than other people, but like just stronger in general. You know what sucks too? If uh, Primate didn't go down there, I could just, I don't know, um, just go two more rounds with Rage Fist, and then come back and heal, because then once I did, I could just, you know, use Rage Fist ten more times, and boom, auto evolve. But no, that stupid Staraptor had to predict I was gonna switch, use Whirlwind on me, and then hit me with Aerial Lace. Because why am I allowed to be happy? Okay. Anyways, ignoring that, and that thanks to my camera glitching, I can't keep track of a consistent time span. All I know is that a total of 12 minutes have passed on the original file. So, counting this one, that would be 13 minutes so far, more or less. Okay, this is the way to Montevera. Good. I said every other trainer I'm skipping, so screw that trainer back there. Please do not run into a tra- Okay, don't run into a pile of sneezles either. Um, as I just keep on- Hey! I did not mean to do that. I- <laughs> That wasn't even me trying to screw around with Tokyo Drift, because I would have announced it if I was. That was just me actively, like, missing the thing entirely, and forgetting I could probably jump over it. And that did not- okay, nope, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. I- 
Why does everything here have to have some form of stall tactic or make me annoyed at the game? Okay, please just let me claim my... I Okay, that wasn't even my fault. The game literally just spawned that, like, there. I, I didn't get a choice in the matter. Okay. Can I please get the dumb item I was trying to get? Thank you. Okay. Back on the trail we go. Is that a cup chew? Oh, that is a cup. Oh, it is a cup chew. That's so cute. And I was so afraid for a second. I was going to turn around and I would see a bear tick and I will get a mini heart attack out of it. Anyways, up the mountain we go, so I can fight the gym leader, because that's kind of my priorities right now. <sighs> I know this is the strongest trainer. I know this is, and I know I'm in for a world of hurt, but like... Please have something Rage Fist can kill. Please don't be a stall trainer, I beg of you. I'm already feeling less confident in my winning chances because I know this thing probably has earth Is Earthquake in this game? It probably is. Oh, I'm faster. Great. You know, this would be a great place to train M if apparently Ice didn't just not take a lot of damage from... Fight from Ghost Titan. Why do you have... Yawn. Why? And my, also, I learned I could do this with the camera, apparently. I completely forgot about that. Okay, it's Defense Stat Rose. <sighs> Why? Why is my job not allowed to be easy? I, I All I wanted to do was run through, get a few matches in, you know, the norm. But no... The game just like F you, you don't get to be happy, and instead chose to, of course, throw me up against a Pokemon that not only increases its stats, but puts me to f***ing sleep. Thank you! Ah! If M had survived that, M might have actually won. But no, screw me. Okay, who can kill this thing? Its speed is lowered. Any move that's super effective is an instant game. That swat over there is essentially me right now, crying on the inside. Okay, Gilgamesh should be fast. I, I think Gilgamesh actually evolves in a level. 100 accuracy? Okay, it has 9. Ooh. Ah, uh, As long as this hits its game. Thank you. How? How? That is four times super effective! Oh, well, it's half ground type, right? Never mind. <sighs> the worst part is she has more Pokemon after this. Okay, you should kill it, right? I know I'm sending Esparta out here to die if Esparta doesn't kill it, but I'm confident Esparta can kill it. Thank you. Jesus. Too bad Gilgamesh went down. Gilgamesh might have actually evolved off that. Oh, no, Gil if I'm right, Gilgamesh would have evolved off that. And great, something Mudshot would have actually killed. <sighs> Ice Fang, because I know this thing's half fairy. I hate you. Don't lower attack, please. Oh, great, it was harshly, too. Why is this game out for me? And she has three Pokemon as... I would rather lose because the game is, like, extremely over-leveled and powerful over the AI just spamming moves that don't do damage and then just delaying the inevitable and therefore making my job much more harder. Because now I have to rush through the rest of this route. I wouldn't have to do that if the game would just die already. But no! It wants to keep spamming charm! Please die to this. I hate everything. There's no way that wouldn't have killed. That is a special move. Don't paralyze. Why? Why does this happen? Why? I'm not keeping calm mind, that's a no. Veluza. Please, do not let this thing have some BS secondary typing 
that has an out to this. Let it just die to fame. Do not have ice moves, do not have aerial ace, just come out here and die to flower trip. That is all I ask of you. You're half psychic because I saw that the dark move was super effective. Thank God he's dead. Okay, good job, Fang. Jesus. I hate everything now because of that. Just get get the levels. I'm gonna pretend like this didn't happen. I have to go bring up M so M can possibly evolve. Then I have to bring up Gilgamesh so Gilgamesh could possibly evolve today. Too bad I can't auto-revive them for some reason, which I've tried before. I think you might be able to, and I've just, like, failed that one time. But revive, and then paralyze heal, because apparently it doesn't do it for itself for some reason. And then we're going to auto-heal these two back up to full health, or all three of I, I will keep Flame on the back burner just in case. I think Flame will be fine. Okay, let us run through this so I don't have to deal with any of this crap. And proceed to move on. Don't. I don't even want to know what that is. Oh, it's. Oh, hey, it's the baby form of that dog we caught last time. I think. I'm not gonna catch it. I'm just saying. I almost ran into that because I thought it was a gimme goal for a second. Um, good thing I was smart enough not to do that. Oh, hey, a swats bug. And a thing I'm kind of tempted to go check out. It depends on how close the gym is. I don't think. Actually, we might be a little bit closer than I thought we were because apparently we're making good time. Uh, can I climb this side of it? Ooh, I can. I, uh, if I jump it. I could jump it. Let's go! That worked. Um, There's a terastalize over there. There's a bunch of suidals that I almost ran into. I have no idea how close I am to that gym. The icy rock. I should have read what that does in hindsight. Oh, God, we're falling down deep. No! You did not just do that. No, 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 no. Get back up here. Okay, I should be able just to run smoothly, though. Okay, out of just curiosity, because we're over here now. What's in this one? I'm just curious now. I'm not going to catch it or fight it, but... Huh. I can't tell what that is. Hmm. Honestly, I'm half tempted to fight it now, because apparently it'll have a weakness to me. And we're stuck! Great! Exactly what I wanted to happen! Okay, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Did I really get stuck? Can I actually not make it all the way back up? Wait, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna be smart about this. Did I actually get stuck down here? I'm that close to the gym. And the Pokemon Center is... Is it this one? I don't want to test that theory, because what if it's the one inside the mountain? I don't know how to get back. Are you kidding me right now? I was right effing there, and I got screwed up. Okay, hello you. I didn't know I could find you running around in the wild. Um, okay, I, don't, I know I can't climb the mountains, for whatever reason that may be, but if I just loop around... Okay, those look too steep for me. So if I just keep doing this so I can loop back to my true height, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Just going around the edges. No, there we go, almost there, there we go. Okay, we're back up here. We're back to square one. Okay, can I just a hard run it up here? That's my question. If I can't, then that's fine. Or I can just do this, that works too. <sighs> I hate everything. <laughs> I, I did this entire wandering thing for no reason. I'm ignoring you because I'm pretty sure you're the next trainer I saw, so I'm going to count that, and please tell me this is the gym town. Oh my god it is! I made it! Thank god! Okay. And I barely made it too because I think we're about 23 minutes in. I am so happy I got up here. Okay, first up, no, heal, 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 heal. I don't care if I've already healed. I, I need to heal. I I've made it to my destination. I needed to get up here to keep my sanity intact. I made it up here. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, to be in all fairness, there's technically no rush to do the gym, because I know where the next Titan is, and we've already explored that area. So technically, I could do the gym and the Titan in one episode, but I don't feel like doing that at all. So let's get our heals. 
We made it up here. We're freezing cold, but it's fine. We're embracing the weather. Just gonna quickly grab some items up here. And as we saw before, the gym leader dwells in double battles. I saw that item. I'm not gonna go get it. So... I'm not, and we know she's a ghost type, so I already have picked out my team, though. And that was Fang and M, because, you know, we got some fighting in Dark type. Then we're going to throw, now that I know Gilgamesh is actually close to evolving, I'll throw Gilgamesh into the mix, too. And then I'm tempted to, let's keep Esparta in there, because Esparta also does have Bite. So, you know, might be useful there. But also in the sense of, I just want to see how far I can get it to evolve, because I know it evolves at level 45. But, like, I just want to give it more experience, you know, so... That's kind of what our team's gonna run with. I don't know exactly what level she is because we saw that the strongest trainer was level 41. So we're either gonna be in for a world of hurt or we're not going to be in for a world of hurt. The gym is right there. Um, I've like there's not much I want to do here. So I guess I'll just talk to some NPCs, figure some stuff out, and you know let's, let's have some coffee. Uh, let's just have some good old coffee because I actually that seems like curry. It, it, one of the two. Oh, it's just an ingredient place. You know, I'll buy some nice bacon, because after this, I'm going to go eat some bacon for breakfast. That's pretty much all I'm going to do. So, as the one slice of bacon will do, because eff it. Um, and you know what? I know this is stupid. I know this is going to come back to bite me for whatever reason it may. Where is that trainer at? Let me just quickly grab this, because I'm already over here. Uh, leech life. Okay. Where is he? Was he not over here? Oh, there he is. Um, I will just take on you, good sir, and hopefully you go down to one or two hits of Rage Fist, because I do want it. And I said when I when I hit the 12, when I hit the 25 minute mark on recording, we have officially hit it, but we already made it there. Thank God you have something I can hit, because I know those things have ghost type. So, you know, now that I've made it here, we're going to take on the gym this episode. Again, I technically don't have to, because I could just wait until next episode to take on the Titan and the gym in one. But I don't feel like doing that, so I'm just going to easily one-shot this thing into oblivion with Rage Fists. I've lost count of how many Rage Fists we've used at this point. I think we've used at least 10. And hey, Gilgamesh might evolve after this, if Gilgamesh actually does evolve at level, um, what's it called, 20, I mean, 38. Dun Dun Sparse. Is this what I think it is? Oh, but it's a normal type. Eh, this is our kind of our only Pokemon that has something super effective on it. Dun Dun Sparse. Yep, it's the thing that has a thing in it. That's not a very good description of it. Basically, it's the, um, since I'm already gonna heal anyways, might as well. But, um, I forgot if I said this in the Medali episode or not. Because for you guys, that was yesterday. For me, that was two weeks ago. Because I didn't record for a week straight because I actually took the week off of recording. So, I actually don't remember what I said in the Medali episode. But, pretty much, um, like... If, it, if In case he didn't have it, the Dunsparce has an evolution in this game, it's this thing. And there's a special one where, like, there's, like, three level segments in the middle. And, like, he doesn't have it. The point is, it's a troll evolution. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Uh, we got Energy Ball. Does Energy Ball have any cool conditions to it? May also lower target's thing. And it has more power than Seed Bomb. No offense, Seed Bomb. You out. Because now all of Fang's moves have gimmicks. One can flinch. One can lower special defense. One can always get criticals and never miss, and then one's also just never miss either way. Fang is honestly pretty much set up for the rest of the game, because I think I like Fang's moveset pretty much. The only thing I would change, possibly, is replacing Aerial Ace for, um... Okay, this is a new animation. Uh, replacing Aerial Ace with Crunch, I guess, or something along the lines of a dark move. But I was right. I've never seen this animation for the game before. Why didn't... Gar Garnack will just evolve in the area. I guess it's too small, I guess. Garnack will rub its fingertips together and sprinkle injured Pokemon with salt. Even severe wounds will promptly heal afterwards. So he's a healer. Cool. Well, most of our squad is fully evolved. Now, I think the only ones that aren't are Esparta and, um... Screw it. Uh, are Esparta and, um... What's the other one called? Esparta and M. I was like, the one we're currently trying to evolve. But um, those are the only two that actually aren't evolved yet, so that's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead, go back up and heal. We have our teammates set up, and yeah, because Gilgamesh is evolved now. Gilgamesh is definitely going to be on the squad for this next gym battle. Again, I do not know her levels. I could just go check. I'm not on a time crunch. Or, I kind of am, and I'm kind of not. But, like, I'll be fine. 
We have a bunch of team members that have like special move, or, like have, we have three of four, three of the four things I plan on charging into this with have something g good against ghost types. And then it's a double battle, which is something I normally thrive in. And like, I have a newly evolved Gilgamesh on my side. I'm not worried about this gym battle is what I'm getting at. So, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. There we go. I was like, why couldn't I read it before? Let me read it earlier. Um, let's just head all the way up here. If There is a way we can get up there, and we will at some point, but I'm not going to worry about it right now because there should be an item somewhere. Yeah, there's an item over there. And we'll get that item later, don't worry, but we're not going to focus on that right now. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to save in case my camera glitches, and we're going to lead into the match with M. Again, I should go buy the Miracle Seed. I'm not going to. I'll deal with it later when I care. AK never. Or other items, too. Oh, hey, it's a professor. Hello, hello, Ezel, aka the guy that made the Pokedex. How goes your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? Uh, sure have. I forgot what voice I gave you, dude. If I gave you a voice at all. That's great! Look at you knowing exactly what you're after. That looks like a QR code. I know it's not, but still. Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. Oh, that makes sense. It's not no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here, to make sure you know your homeroom teacher's got your back. Oh, cool, he gave us a lucky- Thank you, good sir! This should be handy for your treasure hunt. I hope you will be keeping on that Pokedex of yours, too, since I did make the app and all. That's all for me. Just do your best and keep out of danger, okay? I, what episode am I on now? Because I don't have to do the every five thing. I know I did it last time in Medali. I don't remember. You know, I'm going to do it next time, because I know we have a lot of time next time. That's all I remember, unless something goes horribly wrong. But let's give you that lucky X, since you're the only one now that evolves by levels. I mean, M might have to do it, too, but, like, M we have a rare candy for. So if I could find the lucky egg, wherever it is, I'm going to guess it's in this one, probably. Um, can I not give him the lucky egg? Where? What? Why? Where is the lucky egg? Oh, it's in here. That makes sense. Uh, there we go. Lucky egg, and boom! Now, um, Espada is ready to get a bunch of levels in the team. Let's go! Welcome to the Montevere Gym! Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Ezel, yes? Yes, it is. Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Ryan, you'll need to first pass the gym test. Here at the Montevera gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening act. Oh no, my worst nightmare, a crowd. Your job is to get up on stage and show some dead fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking outside with our MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Now get out there and have fun! Cool, and also I really love the Dreepies, it's a nice touch. You know, in sight, Dreepy is a ghost and dragon type, so she might act- That would be a fun thing if she had a dragon pull. I don't think she does. Then again, I also don't remember what's on her team or not, so for all- Except for one Pokemon, so I'm pretty sure she doesn't have a dragon pull though, but if she does, I'll be really happy. Anyways, I'll talk to you. Hello, MC Sledge. Yo, trainer! You're the one performing the opening act tonight. My name's MC Sledge! This is the stage right here! So here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fighting on each side. I know what it is. That'll let you sledge up the double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot, it'll melt the Montevera snow! Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be cute for our gym leader to take this stage. That's how you pass our gym test, yo! Got it. Your opening act begins as soon as you get up on stage. There'll be no backing down until you win three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. You get on those deets for the opening act in our gym test. Ready to sledge him up? Yep, I'm ready. Let's do this. Time to waste no time. Sweet. Just play it by ear. You'll do great. Head up up on stage. Here's the thing. I can freestyle when I'm not trying to freestyle. Because I've done that before. I have proof that I've freestyled before without, free without trying to. But then when I actually try to freestyle, I can't for shit. Anyways, gym test. Warm up the audience for Rhyme's concert. Oh, hey, it's Tombstones. That doesn't bring me much joy. Anyways. What's up, Montanovella? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger heel, Ezel. And the first one of these three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. Oh, hey, it's a kid. Interesting. The one, the only, Tahas. So is that his rapper name or is that his actual name? Double battles, that means one plus one, right? Can you do the math? Okay, you know, I'm gonna smack this kid across the face. I feel no mercy for what I'm about to do. Okay, and let's hit these guys with a nice rage punch, and thank god you're still a ghost trainer in this ghost gym, meaning I can annihilate you with the first two Pokemon to throw out. M, take it out with a rage fist, and you can take this out with a night slash. Those should both be one shots. I mean, rage fist might not be a one shot, but it also might be just because it's M. I believe in M to be able to one shot something with rage fist. So, shove it down. Have you noticed that after every move that Fang makes, Fang, um, always says, I knew, or like, we always say, I knew you could do it for Fang. I don't know why that happens. I just find it interesting. And play rough. Miss, please. Okay, thank God. Nice job, Fang. You avoided the play rough. Um, 
Wow, this battle's amazing! I'm gonna call my friends and cheer up. This is not an amazing battle, trust me, in any way, shape, or form. And, oh, the crowd is raising our stats. Thank you, crowd. I wish the kid had another Pokemon for M to go quickly ram Rage Fist into. But, I mean, I know M's not gonna be able to do anything, because, sadly, the Chad over here is gonna take the experience, unless the Chad can somehow not kill his aerial ace. Nope, it was worth the try, though. I tried seeing if, you know, M could get a freebie shot in, because I want to see if I could evolve M before I get to the gym leader, but... Eh, you get what you get. One plus one is two, right? Right? No. This music does not fit this at all. It's too upbeat, but not like rapper upbeat. It just doesn't feel right to me for this. Anyways. Crowd continues to cheer. What's that? Oh, that's the ice bug thing. Huh. The audience cheering got a little louder. The Monte Mayor stage is the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging, you got this. What does sledging mean? And our challenger's next opponent will be the musician with a bit of unique style, Little Lonnie. What was the name? Or her name? Strong, com com strong compliments weak. The harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. Okay, I, you know, that's the logic I agree with. But, but this place feels a little too, I don't know. Yeah, like, there's too much pausing. The music is not as rapper-oriented as like, you would assume it is. And then also, it's kind of like... I don't know, it's on that, like, 50-50. I didn't mean to click that. It's on the, like, 50-50 line, because it could be more. And then also, there's, like, too much of a break between characters talking and then, like, the actual next line. So where it's, like, there's just that awkward silence and there's nothing to fill it outside of the music that, again doesn't feel like it fits entirely. Don't get me wrong, it's a good soundtrack. I'm just saying it doesn't fit. I'm also realizing that once M evolves, M becomes half ghost type. So by all means, M might actually be both my strongest tier and then my weakest tier, because once M becomes half ghost type, like how we're blasting through these guys with ghost type moves, they can start doing that to M. Which brings me that little bit of worry, but it's kind of too late to take it back now, so we're just going to keep hammering away with the attacks and pray that we're in the right, which thankfully we are, so good job on that one, Fang. I did want, of course, my boy to succeed, or M to be the one to deliver the final build, but I'll take what I can get. We are getting levels. I should be checking their levels. I think they've been level 40 so far. Either that or we're on par with them. It's one of the two. We're either on par or we're under leveled, but we're still doing decently fine. Okay, we got a ghostish type of I mean, that's more psychic than ghost coloring, but whatever. Dawn's is really getting excited. You're opening acts, turning and cheering in the stage up to 11. What a surprise from our new challenger. Who would have thought they'd sledge it up this much? Next to our last opponent is none other than me, MC Sledge. I don't like that face for that at all. It's very interesting. Being an MC isn't you know, my only forte. I can do battle too. I was like, you have a real good double battle. Um, sure, dude. 100%. Let me quickly go check how many Pokemon the gym leader actually has, because I am curious to see if I stand a chance. And okay, no, I'm, no, I'm staying back for this one. I see a Sableye. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Rage Fist to Drift Blend, and we're going to Flower Trick you. This is an instant death, because I know Sableye doesn't have a weakness outside of Fairy type. So we're going to take out you and... Huh. I didn't think you'd survive that, honestly. Rage Fist shouldn't kill Drift Blend, though, right? Oh, that's not a good thing, then, because if Drift Blend survives, then... Never mind. Apparently, the Drift Blend's gonna be a douche and just kill itself. Well, I was gonna use that. I mean, thankfully, it didn't kill the Sableye. On the downside, though, M might go down, which would suck. Or it just locks Fang into battle for some reason. That was a good strategy, don't get me wrong, because, like, you know, if you self-destruct with a teammate that can't be hurt by it, like, that is just a good play, but I feel like, I don't know, they could have not done that specifically, they could have, I don't know, not be a douche about I mean, they didn't hit me with a flying time move, which both of my teammates have a weakness to, so there's that, but, like, I don't know, I expected a little bit more from the MC Sledge, but, ah, we beat him in the end, that's all that matters. It was you who sledged me up. Yeah, you kind of just blew up your own teammate who actually had a type of magic against both my guys. Sadly, I didn't evolve off that, so we didn't use Rage Fist enough times. The crowd's getting really hyped up about this. The onside has reached a fever pitch. Whoa, awesome! That was a great battle! How lucky! That was a rare sight! Thank you, Ezel! Congratulations, you passed the gym test! Give him a round of applause, everybody! Cool, the gym test has been passed. 
I'm just gonna auto heal because there's no need to go back to the Pokemon Center now. I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto! We're ready to go for the main event. Come on, everybody, say it with me. This is what we've all been waiting for. Give it up for the MC of R.I.P. Rhyme! <clears throat> now it's a crowd cheer. Rhyme, 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 rhyme! Doesn't she look like one of our teachers? What's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd's so loud it could take, it could wake the dead. That felt really loud on my side. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good, Rhyme. Thanks for the killer opening, baby. Now I'll get the real start. Now, now I'll get the real party started. Okay, as I try to switch out my team, or at least heal up. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Give us a minute for Rhyme time. Y'all, y'all feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff you passed. Do I have to actually go? Oh my god, I have to go tell the lobby staff I passed. Okay, well, let's just heal up real quickly, save the game, we'll get prepared to stop the recording and then continue it on. Of course, we're not stopping the video, we're just stopping the recording so it doesn't glitch. Um, report to the gym staffer. Isn't he the gym staffer? I guess the gym staffer is, and I'm lost. Oh, it's right there. I, I got lost for a second, I was like, where am I? Because where was the thing? Um, where was the this thing? But apparently it's right over here. Okay, tell the gym staffer I've succeeded in my goal. Amazing job, you're a fantastic opening act. Thank you. I don't believe that, but thank you enough. Uh, best of luck against the gym leader. Are you ready to challenge Rhyme, the uh, MIC, the mic of the rip? Um, yes, I am. Just give me one second. And now it's time to take on the MC of RIP Rhyme. There was really no break in between that. I was just stopping the camera so it could continue recording like an outro. And let's take her on. Hopefully the camera doesn't glitch and hopefully we went on the first try. I don't know how close M is to evolving, but I don't want to risk it and evolve it and then M becomes at a disadvantage. Yo, yo! Sounds like there might be a rap going on over stage. Oh, great. More things that can delay the inevitable. This has been a long episode, I know. This is my time, and this is my day. You're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Rhyme, your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cr I did not read that last part. I'm just gonna say cashier. Boom, ch boom, ch 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 boom. To kill me for that at all times. Pro cashier, well, I'm about to check out. Must got your rhymes on deep discount. Please, you think you can stop? You think you can step to my game? Fool, I got a rhyme right here in my name. I'm a specter from which there is no protector. And I'm never, ah, and victory unto me is when you'll render this crap. Okay, I'm gonna stop trying this. <laughs> I can't rap for shit if you can't tell. You wanna end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book on rhymes, kids, and start reaming. Reading. Ah, I messed up. I'm done, you won. My rhymes are totally ripped. But I'll be back, maybe after my next shift. Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? After my next shift? Seriously? Bars over jokes, come on. Can I fight her now? That was way over too fast. It got bone rare in the crown if no one ever makes a fight to keep it. Hmm? Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? Uh, gym battle. I'm, I'm gonna lose that rap battle within five seconds. As if I needed to ask. You were captivated by that show I put on, huh? I rap what's in my soul, baby. Weaving words into a so symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me. You won't look. You won't last one round. I'm like Sableye. My mean look will knock you down. Like that. You feel me? Uh, sure. <laughs> well, let's get into it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My moves not all the tops of the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. We're gonna have a talk after this match if my uh, M evolves. Let's not forget, the name is Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of R.I.P. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. Okay, that's actually a good one. That is a good one for like. I like rap, don't get me wrong. I. Because I like hearing it, because I think it's like really cool that people can talk really fast and just like just go spinning bars like shit. But I can't do it myself. I have no idea how much Pokemon she has because I was supposed to check and I didn't. Um. We don't mess around in Mount Tenevera. On my stage, we don't battle. Don't let it scare you. Okay, this is how it's gonna be. I'm actually gonna enjoy this battle. Okay, yeah, so we are a little bit under level. Then again, Fang kind of. Over levels them. Okay, so you have a protection hit. We're gonna hit you with that. Fang is gonna use our one knock up hit on Mimikyu. Because no Mimikyu will take an attack. Shows an awesome battle rhyme, and you do, student kit. Okay, you can at least say my name. They've said my name while we were cheering up the crowd. But Aerial Lace to knock off Mimikyu's weird, no, yeah, disguise thing. And then hopefully Bayonet doesn't one shot. An M over here, and M can quickly kill it. Oh, that did a lot of damage. M, okay, thank God. And M actually gets more power off this. One shot at M. One shot it. Ah, oh, almost had it. Good job, M. Icy win. No! Oh, that hits both, and that lowers speed, doesn't it? 
Fang might not be able to outspeed Mimikyu. Okay, we're gonna try to take that Mimikyu. Nice, you totally know that Pokemon's weakness without batting an eye. It's not that hard. I've been doing this all day. Okay, M's attack rose. So did Fang's, I believe. Okay, so as long as Fang is faster than Mimikyu, we can kill Mimikyu, and I think M might be able to outspeed Bennett, but that's like a 50-50 bet. So, I know M can def- I know Fang can definitely outspeed Bennett. The question is if Fang, if M can do that, and if Fang can outspeed Mimikyu, which apparently Shadow Sneak is gonna take down M. Why is it gotta be when M's about to evolve? Are you kidding me? Man, that's uh, okay. So apparently the Icy Wind was strong enough to make them both faster than me, which sucks. But let's take you out with a Night Slash. Nice job on that crit fang. Actually, does Night Slash increase critical chance? It might actually. In hindsight, it might do that. Um, sadly, I can't swap you in. Let's swap in Espada, because I've already decided that these are the two I'm going to run with. Um, throws it out. Houndstone is next. Great! A Pokemon that has a type advantage. And I know for a fact that things faster. One of Grimes' Pokemon went down. Woo, this is exciting. Can the game stop interrupting so I can get on to the battle? Okay, that actually is a cool shot for Fang, though. Honestly, if I didn't have a constant theme for the thumbnails, I would honestly put that as a thumbnail, because that looked really cool. And my attack stat rose. So, you know, if Fang hits, it's game. Okay, bite against you. I really wish that was crunch. And then Night Slash should be an instant kill. Okay, Sucker Punch, that's fine. Night Slash, kill him one hit. Let's go. Okay, we're getting revenge now. Nice job again with the crit fang. Okay, so does Night, Ch Night Slash just have an enhanced critical rate? Because it probably does in hindsight. Well, then let's hit this thing with a bite. Uh, or at least level up first, and then hit it with a bite. So sadly, Espada won't evolve this match, but Espada's just gonna get a lot of experience off having the Lucky Egg and also being involved in these battles, so I will gladly take that 100% of the way. Your youthful power is real threat, but the party's still going. I haven't lost yet! And here comes her last Pokemon, the one I knew about, Toxicity, who I thought was an electric and poison type. He's holding out against Rhyme's offensive. Come on, you can do it. Which, I mean, it makes sense. Like, this is a rock Pokemon. Like, you are not a rock, like a rocker type of Pokemon. Like, you would expect a rapper to kind of have this, but I don't really know how I'm going to deal with it. I'm not really prepared. But I do have this on the back foot. Let's hit him with a nasty little ice fang. And because that's the only thing I have that can touch this thing. Go, child! Sadly, M's not up, because Rage Fist would actually be really helpful right now. But hey, on the bright side, M's probably going to evolve next episode. I guess it would be a little bit too much if we had all of, if we had two of our Pokemon evolve. But once we have, like, the next few episodes, everyone evolves back to back to back. Like, it goes, um, kick back and relax and enjoy this last track. Doing it up for the Grave Rally good time. I forgot you can turn into a ghost type. And that is honestly a really cool transition to this. But, goddamn. Again, I say, if I didn't already have a... Th oh my god, that's so cute. Look at the dog just bouncing back and forth. He just bounced out. Well, I'm on the mic. Even the dead rise up. DJG Rave over there. There's a sure feeling it. Okay, as she... Um, not Gigantamax says, oh, okay, the white in her eyes scared the ever-living crap out of me. But I forgot she could terrestrialize into ghosts. I don't know why. This is the one time I legitimately forgot the AI is capable of terrestrializing. I mean, outside of that match against Nimona, but in hindsight, I knew she could terrestrialize. I just didn't consider it when... No. Okay, then. One... Third crit in a row. Okay, Fane, you need to calm down, good dude, but thanks for that. Wow, that was just sad. That's three crits in a row. Nice job, Fang. I appreciate it, and Fang is going to take a seat for now, because he is the highest level, and he also got three crits back to back. Giving up the ghost, not really my style. I'll let you have this one, though, baby. This was sad. They took down M solely because they lowered my speed, and then after that, Fang just annihilated everything. Haha, <laughs> great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You've got spirit, kid. You've earned my gym badge, all right. And now how about a VIP pass for my next show, too? Thanks, I guess. Actually, I'll take the opposite, because I do like hearing the rap. Cool. With six gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 50, and they'll listen to you what you have to say, too. I feel so good that I think I'm gonna let you have this. What's the TM? Shadow Ball. Okay, I'll take Shadow Ball. Not a bad one. Too bad it's over. Make your way back to the station time. <laughs> Maybe next time we can wrap out instead. Who knows? I'm sure you got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you. Later. Cool. Let me guess. Interruption that'll make this episode last longer than it already is. Because we're almost at the 50 minute mark. If the game would load. Oh, no, we are at the 50 minute mark. Never mind. 
Greetings, once more, Ezreal. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit, even. Hardly have I said that Hardly had you sent out Primate before you lost it to your strategy. That unrelenting offense, that floor of attacks, what an efficient way to corner the opponent. I would not say it was efficient. And what artificially trained po artfully, artfully trained Pokemon. So it's a vibrant palette of moves. Ah, uh, I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run muck like that. Um, in summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I'm eager, I'm eager for the battle to, for you to gather all your gym badges. As I remember the four, I await the day you come to face me with grand anticipation. Oh, but one thing. Don't let your studies fall behind wayside. Be sure to come back to the academy every now and again. Yeah, we will. When I remember what the next five episode mark is. For now, though, we're going to end this one here so the story doesn't interrupt me. And in the next one, what we'll end up doing is we will head to the next Titan, even though I could just head to the next gym. If I could remember how to... It's over... Okay, I lost where I am, but it should be somewhere over here. But next time, we're going to head to our next Titan, which is, if I could find it on this map... Where is the water gym leader? Where? Oh, there we go. This right here. We're going to take on this quaking earth titan. So I'll see you all then. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe. Follow us. I'll see you on this one. Don't forget to check us out.